Every video on this channel moves you one step closer to a government nursing job, improves your nursing knowledge and bedside skills. Watch till the end, learn something new today and contact me using the WhatsApp link in the description below for exam ready PDFs. Which diagnostic tool is most useful to confirm a pneumothorax in the emergency room? A. CT scan B. Chest X-ray C. MRI D. Ultrasound of abdomen Correct answer B. Chest X-ray A chest X-ray quickly shows air in the pleural space, confirming pneumothorax. It is fast, widely available and ideal in emergencies. Which condition requires immediate defibrillation? A. Asystole B. Sinus bradycardia C. Ventricular fibrillation D. First degree AV block Correct answer C. Ventricular fibrillation Ventricular fibrillation is a life-threatening rhythm where the heart stops pumping blood. Defibrillation is the only effective treatment to restore circulation. Which sign most strongly suggests poor perfusion during CPR? A. Warm skin B. Rising blood pressure C. Fixed and dilated pupils D. Pink nail beds Correct answer C. Fixed and dilated pupils Fixed and dilated pupils strongly suggest poor perfusion during CPR because they show that the brain is not receiving enough oxygen-rich blood. When circulation to the brain drops severely, the pupils stop reacting to light and remain wide open. This makes it a clear and serious indicator that the body's vital organs are not being perfused properly. Which oxygen delivery device provides the highest FiO2? A. Nasal cannula B. Simple face mask C. Non-rebreather mask D. Venturi mask Correct answer C. Non-rebreather mask A non-rebreather mask can deliver close to 100% oxygen, making it ideal for severe respiratory distress. It prevents inhalation of room air. Which vital sign change is typically seen first in early septic shock? A. Bradycardia B. High blood pressure C. Tachycardia D. Hypothermia Correct answer C. Tachycardia The body increases heart rate to maintain circulation when infection begins lowering blood pressure. Tachycardia is one of the earliest clinical clues. Which lab marker raises early in sepsis and helps in diagnosis? A. Bilirubin B. Lipase C. Procalcitonin D. Hemoglobin Correct answer C. Procalcitonin Procalcitonin levels increase during bacterial infections and help detect early sepsis. It is widely used to guide antibiotic therapy. Which condition requires immediate needle decompression? A. Simple pleural effusion B. Tension pneumothorax C. Atelectasis D. COPD exacerbation Correct answer B. Tension pneumothorax Tension pneumothorax traps air under pressure, collapsing the lung and dropping blood pressure. Needle decompression releases the trapped air and saves life. Which medication is commonly used to treat severe hyperkalemia in critical care? A. Calcium gluconate B. Ibuprofen C. Frusemide D. Paracetamol Correct answer A. Calcium gluconate Calcium gluconate stabilizes the heart during dangerous potassium elevations. It protects the cardiac muscle while other treatments reduce potassium levels.
which is the earliest sign of respiratory distress in a critically ill patient a cyanosis b tachypnea c chest pain d low oxygen saturation correct answer b tachypnea tachypnea is usually the earliest sign of respiratory distress because the body tries to compensate for falling oxygen levels by increasing breathing rate cyanosis and low oxygen saturation appear later once the condition worsens so identifying tachypnea early helps prevent deterioration and supports faster intervention Which parameter best indicates improvement after giving IV fluids in shock? A. Temperature. B. Improved urine output. C. Increased sweating. D. Faster breathing. Correct answer. B. Improved urine output. Improved urine output indicates that blood flow to the kidneys has recovered, which means overall circulation and perfusion have improved after IV fluids. Other signs like temperature or sweating are not reliable indicators of perfusion. So urine output is used clinically as a strong objective measure of effective fluid resuscitation. Which condition requires immediate administration of epinephrine in the emergency department? A heart failure, B severe allergic anaphylaxis, C mild asthma attack D hypertension correct answer B severe allergic anaphylaxis epinephrine is the life saving first line treatment for severe allergic anaphylaxis because it rapidly opens the airway raises blood pressure and reduces swelling no other medication works as quickly or effectively in this type of situation which is why guidelines universally recommend epinephrine as the immediate and essential intervention which patient requires immediate intubation in critical care a mild shortness of breath b oxygen saturation of 98% on room air c inability to maintain airway or protect it d slight wheezing correct answer C inability to maintain airway or protect it A patient who cannot maintain or protect their airway is at high risk of losing oxygen supply or aspirating so immediate intubation is required to secure ventilation and prevent life threatening complications mild breathing discomfort or normal oxygen levels do not require intubation making airway protection the decisive factor for urgent intervention Which acid base condition is most commonly seen in diabetic ketoacidosis DKA A metabolic alkalosis B respiratory alkalosis C metabolic acidosis D respiratory acidosis correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.